in the next couple of weeks, um, the cyber truck will be released. That will be pretty cool. I mean, we all, uh, for people that watch the Joe Rogan, Elon Musk, and all the dudes, obviously, because I don't think any chick is going to listen to Joe Rogan. To well, with it's because they were on strike, <laughs> weren't they? They <laughs> They're on strike. <laughs> Um, he's obviously made out of um, stainless steel alloy. It's humongous compared to what I thought it was going to be. Mm. Um, it's meant to come out of production. It's going to weigh seven tons, bro. It's Jeez. a seven-ton truck. Seven. So we're talking seven thousand pounds, probably, mm. which mm. is about three, three and a half tons. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fuck, dude. That's. <clears throat> but I mean, it's a truck. So again, you guys would have seen the cyber truck. I think they launched the images like um, two years ago or so. And then everyone was just like, ah, going crazy. Because you've never seen anything like this. The design of the Tesla uh, Cybertruck, it's got like this whole like wedge futuristic design. Cyber it's futuristic design. cyber, but yeah. it's, it's almost like got some nostalgia attached to it because of like the Lamborghini Countach. Which was mm. also this wedge design, square square frames. There we go, and Musk has brought the thing to life. Like two years later, they've made all the tweaks and the adjustments that they needed to do in order to get it um, more feasible. Um, <clears throat> same story with upgrade. Like this thing is bulletproof, guys, and properly bulletproof. Like, oh yeah, that's what one of the um, marketing things are in the um, show. They're going to show them. Firing a Tommy gun at the body. Yeah. Of the scar. Like fucking Scarface, you know? Yeah. Mother See, you know, with, a fucking, with, with a cigar in his mouth. But you know what would be fucking cool? Get Al Pacino to fire the Tommy gun. Yeah, that would that just would be, be. Yeah. Fucking. Everyone would buy it. Yeah. Dude, I would buy a cyber. <laughs> I don't even have a license. I would buy a cyber truck, dude. <laughs> But it's it's such an amazing car, and this is the one thing that I really appreciate about Musk. As far as I'm concerned, there's not too much um, obsolescence built into his products. He builds his products to be the best they can be, the most range it can happen at this price point. You know, he's yeah, not it making similar. it slightly bulletproof. He's making it fucking bulletproof. You know, it was, he's not. It was um, that he was like, uh, Jordan was like, so do we get any more range? And it's like, well, range is not an issue. I mean, you get 350 miles out of the truck. What more do you want? And especially out of a three and a half fucking ton truck. 3.2 metric ton. 3.2 metric tons. Which is mad. That's much heavier than a a, a Rolls-Royce Cullinan, Rolls-Royce Phantom. Um it's heavier than a G wagon, but I mean, bear in mind, it's it's fucking bulletproof. <laughs> it's bulletproof. Usually, when you armor <clears throat> plate a vehicle, so let's look at your traditional vehicles that get armor plated. Um, an Audi A8, you know. So Audi A8, you buy a certain spec. Let's say you pay about three million for the car. Okay, mm-hmm. if you now want to get that car made bulletproof, it now of course needs to go into a new place. Whoever you decide to choose, they strip the car. They put fucking Kevlar everywhere, uh, reinforced steel plates in the doors. They get the thick ass glass, whole lot of shit. That price then goes from about three million rand, so three hundred thousand New Zealand, um, <clears throat> probably about hundred and eighty thousand American, goes from three million to about five, four and a half, five million rand. So that armory will cost you an additional 70, 80,000 um, American, 150,000 New Zealand, 1.5 million rand. I guess what the top spec cyber truck's going to cost? How much? 80,000 USD. Now just listen to that, guys. Top spec cyber truck, 1.5 million rand. That is wrong. It will go to zero to 60 in less than three seconds, and you get up to 500 miles of range. And that's the top spec, like you say, yeah. That's great. In something so heavy, dude. People don't realize this. Like, the the weight that is added to a vehicle when you um, reinforce it. 
Like an A8 weighs about 2.2, 2.3 tons. When you bulletproof that motherfucker, it now weighs three and a half tons. And that's a car. No, we're not talking about a truck. We're talking about a car. What that then does is it, it, you have to reinforce suspension, a whole lot of shit. But now the fuel range has completely mm. fell through the floor. Because the car weighs as much as like a small fucking truck. So now, instead of getting out of an A8, let's say 300, 400 miles, you're now getting 150, 200 miles because of the weight that's on board. And Musk has managed to make all of these little issues I'm speaking about when it comes to making a, an armored vehicle irrelevant. Yep. He's managed to just that's make right. them irrelevant. He can bring that thing to the market at that price. Mm. Fucking Ford is in trouble, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Ford is I in fucking trouble. Being being an advocate for electric vehicles, um, Lucid, which is um, if people don't know, Lucid is another electric um, car company, and the CTO, the ex CTO of Tesla, basically left Tesla and made Lucid, and the new Lucid Gravity is coming out, and it's meant to be a sedan SUV with about. 750 miles on it something like that to one charge and they're beautiful cars Mm -hmm. they've just recently um acquired a whole lot of money saudi money so oh lucid has gone (laughs) (laughs) lucid has gone dude holy shit i mean lucid released that did they they released the the truck right or is it um the truck what is it rivian 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 Rivian. yeah it's beautiful truck Beautiful mm. truck. I saw. And I saw again, one in real life in at um, in uh, Monte Carlo. It was it was gorgeous. I mean, wow, and a probably truck. massive. Huh? Yeah, huge. huge. Yeah, I think the whole electric truck thing. Um, I guess it it makes more sense because there's so much more space and like mm. room to put batteries. And the main thing mm. is, of course, you want to keep the sense of gravity low. Mm. In a truck, you just put all the batteries in the floor. There's so much floor space. Um, I mean, a lot of them, they're putting the batteries under the load bin. There's so much space there. Ford is doing it with their lightning. No, man, technology is moving. Yeah, technology is moving. And hopefully uh, another three or four days of uh, comfort without too much pillage. And, um, and we'll see what happens during the week because it seems like I've noticed that September and October were quite some hefty months. Uh, the market almost crashing um, October 7th. Whoa. Um, you know, so it'll be interesting to see what happens in the next week. Do you have any projections? Because it's almost Christmas time, so everybody just chills out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck. Um, hmm. I guess when it comes to Christmas, that's um, the time when you're able to able to assess your your like how well your nation is actually doing mm. and the reason being is of course dudes are always measuring fucking um like how much was spent i mean black friday is coming up their favorite <laughs> thing how many billion dollars was spent on black friday and it's always an increase because they they're profit junkies they just want more and more and more but <clears throat> In light of recent years, I mean, the unemployment that was caused by the pandemic, uh, not everyone has managed to get back on their feet still, guys, by the way. And you have a situation where it's either going to be a massive decrease in spend over the holidays, or it's going to be still a decrease in spend, but it's going to be even more of those purchases would be, be made on credit which is a bad sign. <laughs> it's a very, if, very bad sign. If there's another thing that ever, anybody that can be an advocate for is to learn how to budget correctly within your means. Mm. And, and I think don't budgeting that, purely... There's there is, mm. there is a fuck ton of information on the internet and don't tell me you don't have access to the internet because every motherfucker does these days, okay? Unless you're in Gaza. <laughs> Unless you're in Gaza. But, no, 100%. This info is all available to you. Um, The main thing with budgeting is stick to the plan. End of. Stick to the plan. Not for one week. 
not for one month, not for one year, for as Stick long as it. possible. That's how you get the most out of it. This is coming from someone who has not stuck to many budgets. <laughs> <laughs> not stuck to many budgets and I can tell you from my experience stick to the budget okay <laughs> stick to the budget thank you for watching this clip from the OG session for the full episode visit the It's Friday Forever YouTube channel whilst you're there subscribe to the channel turn your notifications on so you're notified whenever we drop new content and I'll see you in the next one